Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Seth. There's a video here today. We're going to say brand new redesigning your videos episode 12 or video redesigning uh, redesigning your PSDs episode 12. Okay, so basically where I just basically get some really cool PSDs or pictures from you guys and I redesign them and make them cool and fun or use a composition in today's video where maybe possibly I wanted to do a Demon Slayer anime header and no one sent one in and I possibly use a Naruto one as an example and Reva. You guys get the point. So basically hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. You guys will see some really cool fun new videos as always. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys the support lately and I just love you guys and yep, that's it. Enjoy the video. <laughs> So I've been craving to do an anime header for quite some time now. Of course now, you know, D Demon Slayer is super dope. So I, I've been watching it recently, but however, I've yet to get a Demon Slayer selected and like, you know, put into the video and all that good stuff on Discord. So I have my boy, you know, uh, his name is FX, I think creates with a Naruto header. What if I take this and can we just put like, you know, Tanjiro's head on Naruto and like right uh, over Naruto and put like Demon Slayer. Okay, editor, please, please, Jay, please help me out for this one. And like, we just pretend this is a Demon Slayer header so I can do a Demon Slayer player header. I just really want to do one. So with that being said, of course, let's go ahead and get this started right here, right now. So like, it's, it's Demon Slayer. It's not Naruto. Don't hate me. I already did a Naruto one. If you guys want to watch that one, you can watch it. I'll put in a little card thing up here for you guys and we're all good to go. So this is my little mood board going on here. Now I love the actual sort of idea with this kind of like textured background with the black and white kind of stuff going on here. I love this color scheme. Even I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I love the idea about it. I also have this little sketch kind of piece thing in here. My little mood board here is, I, I, I feel like I'm going to use everything here. Maybe even just use a little bit of this, right? It's kind of like using like a half tone pixely kind of image. I don't really know how to make this, but I can always figure it out, right? So let's just go ahead and kind of start this thing up. Let's just do this and, and run, run with English is hard. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if you can tell, but I just know I want to do it. So this is what we're doing. Let's just do it. So I already, of course, have them placed in here. And as well as what I ended up doing for myself is I made the actual cutout of the water already a different kind of selection so that I can go about it and kind of like move it and do whatever I want to do with it. So I think this is a pretty good start for me. However, though, let's go ahead and go back over here for a second. I want to use this picture here and do like this effect there for like, you know, like a background image like this. So I'm kind of combining these kind of things together. So dragging this into Illustrator, okay? I'm gonna use something known as a little image trace. We're gonna use sketched art. Now for this, I think if we get like a little bit of detail, hopefully it's not too much detail. Okay. Maybe like a little bit less, like a little bit less on his face, I think. Okay, something like that's pretty freaking good. So I'm gonna use expand, object expand, drag this baby back in. Now that he's inside here, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is make this pretty much pure black and white in my case here, okay? And if I just drag him kind of like behind him a little bit and kind of use him a, as a way, right? To kind of like throw in more of this kind of like really fun water texture thing going on here. This, this could be what I want. Now, as cool as this is, now it's actually really freaking cool to be honest. It kind of looks like it's even in involving more of that kind of, uh, you know, the, the water kind of dragon effect kind of thing. So in this case, what if, if we don't want to make it pure black and white for both things, what if I were to go ahead and just go about it and say to myself, hey, I want to use this green tone here, like a nice crew, like this, this green is super exotic, really fun to use. So how about I kind of celebrate that and make sure I find a nice good tone of it. All right. I think this looks pretty, pretty good to me. Okay. So I'm okay with this. However, I still want to fill this background up with more of a, like a, like a textury kind of very random kind of thing. So I do have a font by the way, known as GK type. Okay. And as a matter of fact, with this font, you can basically use numbers to kind of write out characters, random characters, by the way, kind of like kanji um, inspired, right? And I can go about this and kind of move these around here. Okay, like even like, behind, let's start off behind him for a second, right? I'm kind of make sure it's, you know, placed around like that. And if I just change the number, it should change the actual style of it. And with this, it kind of adds that little bit of something so that I'm kind of look to kind of fill this space up. Now I want to use a few like, kind of like images like this, where it's kind of full and like filled. However, if I go about this over here and say to myself, I want to use like, let's say like a nine or whatever, right? And I'll make this pretty big. I also want to make sure I use something with like a, like a fill and like a stroke on it. So that way it kind of feels more sketch-like and kind of follows the idea of what we're doing in the background with the actual water when we did with the illustrator, right? So let's go with that, see how I can fill the space up and like, let's hope that it looks pretty cool.
all right so basically thinking about this uh, i'm not i'm not entirely sure how i want to go about it but i do know for one thing as i really like this kind of like random fills in these little areas like right over here i like this little random fill random fill random fill random fill right i kind of want to go about this and kind of put maybe more random fills in um and then kind of make things a little bit more kind of pop out like that because i really want to keep that kind of really fun sketch look and i'm even even deciding maybe you're not okay i want to go back over here for a second take this color for a second and just like let's just, just pretend okay that the background was this color now this color is not my it's not my favorite for instance however if it's like a little bit more like less like this is aggressive right this is aggressive it almost kind of controls the entire vibe of the entire thing and that's not what i'm looking for i want something a little bit more neutral a little bit more kind of quiet and i think something like this okay it can be okay now what that means though is that this green is kind of not doing its its work or job anymore okay oh okay red actually looks really sick oh oh okay let's go ahead and click on the red again real quick that actually likes looks really really good i want to make it a little bit toned differently however though that actually looks kind of dope okay 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 you see like just switching around the colors a little bit giving more fuel makes me feel a little more happier about the the direction that we're going so let me quickly of course like i said before do that little fill thing in and uh go from there for a second wait what the f wait that looks so sick i don't even mean to do this okay hold on okay 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 dude I, this is going in so many directions i have no idea what i want to do but it's also really fun um i like this i like this a lot oh shit oh, it looks so cool too what if i throw in like three? Oh my god what 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 do i want to do oh pink i've been here for like 20 minutes messing around with these colors but i think this is probably my favorite one just given the fact that kind of makes the image and like the the idea of this kind of like like lower tone sketch paper-esque color in the back kind of makes the the water feel very animated and very fun and so with that we're gonna stick with those colors for now but this wasn't even this wasn't even my thought process but i love it so let's just go from here see what we can do now and i'm thinking basically now it's kind of like a way to make this all kind of feel feel like more cohesive and full through whether if it's like deleting some of the stuff in the background or not i'm not too sure but it's it can definitely use it it can definitely use some kind of idea so hopefully we figure that out right here right now All right, now I don't actually know if this idea is gonna work or not, but I'm, I'm still trying to, I don't, I didn't really like the background image being like the, the illustrated cutout anymore. I don't know what it is about it, but I just can't get my head fully wrapped to it, but I'm gonna roughly erase this really quick. Cause I think what I can do here, okay, is if I use this, what if I use like a stroke and whatnot, like I usually do before on uh, all the other things, right? With the, uh, with the, the, the type text GK font thing, right? okay now i like this a lot now it, it kind of plays with this kind of like big heavy stroke thing going on here uh like over here right and then kind of these little skinny ones it just makes it feel a little more appropriate now even i don't even know if this is worth it but if i were to go in here and like kind of change up these interactions right is it worth the complexity of like how they actually interact right now just like really quick little things like right here right here right here well i didn't do it there because i, I want to kind of make sure you can kind of tell that there's like this intentional purposeful like thing going on here where it kind of looks pretty cool in some of these areas um, I'm happy with it though, so I'm gonna say okay. I like that look. So now what I'm thinking, okay, is a way to kind of dial down the background a little bit, whether if it's with like noise or like something like, I don't know, or even like using color, even a little bit, a little bit of spots can be a, a helpful tip. Like let's say for instance, like if I do, oh, I didn't. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna thank myself for accidentally coloring out of the lines, but that's kind of sick. Like I was gonna purpose, I was gonna go in here and like erase it like this, right? And like you know make it perfect and clean but i don't think that's gonna look cool i think the the idea of oh dude oh i'm so happy with little mistakes okay so instead let's take an eraser a brush excuse me let's take a nice clean dope brush with a little bit of texture go into here and with like a nice big brush kind of just fill in very loosely in these areas i think it's gonna look pretty freaking sick Okay, even though the different colors kind of looks cool right here, the green, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I don't think I want to do multiple colors. I think I want to do one simple color. Um, I feel like it might look a little bit better. Okay, we're, we're somewhere. We're somewhere. We just gotta, we gotta reel it in somehow. How are we gonna do that? Oh, I'm missing texture. Oh my God, I'm missing texture. I'm missing texture. I got it. I'm missing texture. I'm missing texture. But what texture? But I know I'm missing texture. What texture am I gonna use though? That's a good question. 
okay maybe something like this right if we take this paper texture throw this in the background over here for a second all right now follow me follow me now if i change the blend mode to something like let's say hmm luminosity is kind of cool but i'm gonna go into blend mode real quick and kind of see if a blend if option just give me a little bit more texture like a very i want a subtle amount of texture then i'll use some noise and what if i were to take these numbers and give them or not numbers these are kind of like you know uh you know kanji kind of letters and give them like really heavy like uh noise right would well, that look kind of cool let's see okay i think that kind of makes it look a little bit kind of cool i'm okay with that there's still something i'm missing in the background here still what if i want to make these two things as well combine let's see if i can find like a really cool filter maybe like this relief texturize is actually kind of cool like if i press okay on it it kind of makes it look more like scroll like okay i like that i'm okay with that all right so what if i actually took the so right now if i'm looking at this header right i feel like if we're, if we're just putting all the focus on the header if the most thing that kind of stands out is the water which i think is probably like the best bet because it, it's kind of like the main thing it's right, right? it's like a, a main a storytelling element through the actual header so what if we make it glow but in a really cool way if we added just a little more something maybe some kind of handwritten or not even handwritten but just kind of like organic something effect and then add glow on top of it it could kind of look cool so i'm just gonna see what i can flirt with and find out and see what it looks like and we're gonna go from we're just gonna go from there let's just see what happens all right so something like this actually is kind of cool actually i just stumbled upon this it's kind of like a cutout thing and it kind of if i just press okay for a second right it looks a little bit kind of weird and whatever but if i take this right and delete around everywhere else i don't want to kind of mess around with now even though i kind of erased a lot of it it still adds that little something and we can kind of keep building on that so i'm going to quickly do that one more time right so actually instead i'm actually going to go before i even do any more filters i didn't even know if it's even necessary realistically but i'm gonna add a glow right it's like this so basically all these little portions right here okay something like right here right here and also like right there boom 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 okay a little bit of uh, linear dodge add okay okay right or even like maybe color burn or color dodge i kind of like color dodge if i just lower the intensity a little bit right the lightness put up my my saturation a little bit more right it can, can kind of look kind of dope right something like this i think is pretty dope like it looks really dope when you kind of look at it back and forth like this like it just adds that little more glow it's kind of what i want it's kind of what i need and realistically i don't know if i want to add any more things to it but i think for the most part i think we're done don't want to see that all right so i'm gonna do one little actual final thing i think it just kind of makes sense i like the idea here too if you can tell there's a little bit of rgb split going on here so i might just say to myself i might want to take that this didn't work out um i might want to take that okay that <laughs> feels like desiko just looked at me which is like no you can't do that um and then i'm gonna go over here just hit my mic my bad and we're gonna make it red rgb split red and give it like two or so ticks of uh like something like that right not too much okay now since it's red and blue it makes perfect sense because it's kind of technically in a way this green tone is a little bit in a way of a blue tone but i don't want to do too much like not too heavy like that you that's kind of fun and cool and sick and all however something like this where it kind of offsets it just a little bit right so it makes it look a little bit a little bit trippy then i'll go back into a layer mask like delete around and honestly just like that you can have this really cool little rgb split and it's just a little bit of something it just adds a little bit of something if you're looking around like right here it makes it a little bit trippy and it just i don't know it's kind of fun i wanted to do it too i wanted to i want to be involved you know with the rgb split but with that being so that's i think that's gonna be the end of this header here all right all right jay look okay dude my editor is right i couldn't help it i felt the design needed some kind of abstract color to go with like such a fun idea it had to be done and with the actual added colors i really feel like it helped the design's idea of this flowing water being like this standout feature and also he made the previous design look kind of silly in my opinion i mean am i honestly wrong though that you actually would like the original colors or do you not like this this is like super dope also can we talk about that added little water in the top left yeah i mean i don't know i did pretty good all right so for the next design it's actually a really cool idea that i was going through discord right so i was scrolling through discord i saw a design by it's diggy we're just gonna call him diggy okay and it's like a really cool line idea and it said like courage 2022 2021 thing but if we really quickly jump into the feedback by the way discord.gg you can join in all that good stuff right and then someone said it reminds me of this selfless logan i was like okay whatever kind of line logos but i saw that in the main is this cool little s and i was like that's kind of cool is there a universe right where i can actually have the word courage 
bridge spelt out in the main fix a little bit of the line to make it a little more aggressive and see if i can take it to a different level and hopefully i could i have yet to do a kind of like a a logo design revamp but it could be kind of fun to do it and realistically it's just me speed arting it so enjoy and hopefully it looks kind of cool all right so honestly guys when i started off with this like idea i had no idea what i actually wanted to do I went ahead and kind of sketched out some really weird organic kind of way to kind of write out courage on the actual uh, the line but like low-key just it didn't look right and low-key after maybe a possibly like 20 minutes of sketching the same thing over and over again i went ahead and said yo let's just actually just do this idea where i use actual text of like a really cool fun text and then make it like this really cool clean kind of like tribal kind of look because the actual original logo kind of have this bit of a tribal feeling with all the cuts inside of it so i was kind of going with that look when i actually put the actual letters together and yeah low-key i kind of got to a point where i kind of felt like i had like really good idea going but low-key couldn't get over the fact the face looks so so bad and i had to fix that so we fixed that after again maybe possibly 30 40 minutes of sketching but hey at least i got to a point where i feel like it looked pretty good ultimately though i feel like i did a pretty good job at like the end result i mean it took me a little bit to get there I'm not gonna lie this probably took me like maybe two three hours just because i just i don't i haven't done a logo in so long bro i will say though the face definitely saved that i mean the older face i mean what the what was i thinking with this dude the new face though it looks like at least it looks kind of good but it kind of looks like the old whole face like a big face that's opening its mouth i don't know but like hey i think it looks pretty good let's just say that but with a little bit of time left i have i'm just gonna say yo i love you i appreciate you and the design that you're working on right now it looks so good you're so amazing this is where you want to comment me and my logo design because i know it's not that great but hopefully it's somewhat just decent enough and you kind of like it a little bit okay that's 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 what i'm going for All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. So hopefully you had, had some little bit of fun or you just got a little more inspired to go into Photoshop or Illustrator in this instance and uh, do something really fun and redesign one of your projects for a portfolio or just like get in there and actually design something. As always, guys, of course, discord.gg slash this way HQ. And then you guys go to redesigning and put in your PSDs in your picture. You guys can also be in these videos as well. And uh, so, yeah, that's it. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. That's what HQ out. Now we got to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. Peace and I'll see you guys very soon. Later.